Welcome to Wine Wednesdays with the Wine Professor. Uh, today, um, as the uh, summer is winding up and uh, grape harvest um, is upon us, uh, we will taste a wine from uh, Brown County, in fact, from Brown County Winery. Um, it's a wonderful uh, Concord based wine called the uh, Vista Red, actually see the Concord vine right behind me getting ready for uh, harvest. Um, just a few more weeks, uh, see the giant leaves here about the size of my head. Um, a wonderful native uh, variety here and the uh, Brown County uh, Vista Red is really a gold standard for Indiana made um, uh, Concord uh, wines, which are the most popular in the entire uh, Midwest. So. Uh, we've tasted those wines before, uh, beautiful citrus, uh, orange blossom, orange peel um, uh, aromas in those uh, mm, wines, really um, jammy, a beautiful wine that you can drink uh, now um, while it's still warm. And I suggest you take a bottle, put it in the freezer for 30 minutes, set a timer so the bottle doesn't explode if you leave it in there for, for too long, uh, but put it in the freezer. Um, then uh, get some ice, put it all in a blender, make yourself a, a nice refreshing slushy. Um, the uh, chilling the wine um, uh, beforehand uh, assures that uh, it's not too diluted. Uh, when you put the ice in, you don't need as much ice. Um, so you have a nice, sweet, um, crisp, uh, tart um, summer wine. Uh, but uh, as the days are already getting shorter, um, also have some of this at hand for the winter time. Um, throw some star anise, some cloves, some cinnamon in, uh, maybe buy an organic uh, orange and uh, uh, put the peel in and you can make a wonderful uh, malt wine with this, uh, sitting around the fireplace um, on a cooler night, um, having a glass of a nice warm mm. malt Vista Red is, um, is just about perfect. Um, the uh, Brown County Winery is owned by the Short family and uh, has been around uh, for 35 years. Uh, 1985 is when it was uh, started and um, Dave and uh, Cindy Throat have, have, have run the winery and now uh, their sons uh, have been taking over. Uh, one of them, uh, Jonas, is uh, actually also a stand-up comedian. So we have the combination of stand-up comedy and winemaking here. Uh, and so another uh, interesting combination here. So if you go uh, to the Comedy Attic in um, at Bloomington, uh, on occasion, um, you can go there, uh, see people live, uh, see the comedians live, or now also uh, they have Zoom uh, comedy meetings uh, you can uh, attend from your from your living room, but uh, have a glass of wine uh, with it and enjoy um, Jonas doing his uh, tactfully, dis tactfully distasteful uh, comedy there. So really entertaining, he has uh, spoken actually to the wine appreciation class um, a couple of semesters ago. Um, very knowledgeable, very entertaining, very funny. Um, guy uh, and an Indiana winemaker um, as uh, as well. So lots of things to discover in Indiana wine uh, country. And if you go around the cornfield, hmm, can't stop sipping this. Um, you will obviously see um, the corn getting ready. Um, some of it's senescing uh, already. So that's what a normal uh, corn cup obviously looks like. Uh, but what you'll see right now um, is also this. Um, this. Uh, um, interesting um, looking uh, uh, phenomenon here that is caused by a fungus um, that is growing um, on uh, the corn kernels here, forming um, those um, uh, little nobular things. Uh, and uh, uh, although this looks kind of a little bit odd, uh, no doubt about it, um, this is actually a delicacy. Um, it's actually referred to as the Mexican truffle and you can uh, pick it right here in Indiana uh, right now. It's used for making tacos and quesadillas and um, in fact uh, those little um, nobules here you can uh, chop up. Uh, you don't want to wait too long then you get a lot of uh, those black spores here. You can't eat it but uh, right now actually it's very nutritious. Lots of uh, the amino acid, uh, essential amino acid for humans, uh, lysine is in here. So um, if you open this up uh, smell like really uh, kind of a savory um, uh, character, really, really tasty. Um, 
really delicious. Um, so you can make some uh, real neat uh, new dishes with uh, our uh, homegrown delicacies here. It's a little bit like more else uh, that we collect uh, um, uh, early in the year, but uh, this uh, corn uh, truffle is, is really beautiful to eat. And, and so the amino acids that we find in here um, are very similar to those that we find actually in a glass of wine. Uh, wine has a lot of uh, glutamine and glutamate uh, in it. Uh, that's the amino acid that we have in soy sauce, in truffles and tomato sauce and parmesan cheese and and that's what makes wine um so flavor enhancing um when we eat it with a with a good meal and of course any type of fungus any kind of mushroom uh, goes always really well um with wine so uh, to again taste the local delicacies be they wine or be they what grows um around your house uh, in the fields and uh, with that support indian agriculture support the farm wineries um and visit them um you can order uh, Brown County wine online as well um, if you want to bring it uh, bring it home uh, but uh, you can also visit the tasting room uh, you have to call ahead though there are limits uh, to how many people they can fit but uh, it's a beautiful winery um, and a fun family um, to get to know so with that um, from Purdue um, cheers and uh, have a wonderful rest of the summer cheers